You know Simon, I have heard of the term mechanical stabilization but never really understood it. Mechanical stabilization is to do with osinite which is severely deformed before it transforms by a displacive mechanism. I see. How does the prior plastic deformation influence transformation? A large density of dislocations due to deformation can block the progress of a glissile transformation interface. It can even bring the transformation to a grinding halt. But Simon. I don't understand why prior deformation accelerates a diffusional transformation but retards one which is displacive. A diffusional transformation destroys the dislocations that existed in the osinite, rather like a recrystallization phenomenon. There is a resulting gain in free energy. I get it. Since there is no diffusion in a displacive transformation, the defects in the austenite are absorbed by the product so there is no gain in free energy in this case. That is indeed true Brian. Only displacive transformations can be retarded when transformation occurs from deformed austenite. Wow Simon. What an elegant way to distinguish between reconstructive and displacive transformations. This is a nice restaurant. But I wish I had chosen the vegetarian option. <laughs>